Ashley Gonzalez Ruiz. Today she will be talking about climate change through the lens of Gen Z. Everyone, Ashley Gonzalez. Hello, thank you for coming. My name is Ashley Gonzalez. I'm a junior at Yesburg Northbrook High School, and I'm only 16 years old. I'm supposed to be worried about, I don't know, social media, listening to music, but instead I'm here and I'm going to speak about the importance of climate change. So what exactly is climate change? Well, oh, this light's on. Climate change is a long-term change in the average weather patterns that have come to define Earth's local climates. These changes have always been natural, but since the early 1800s, human activities have been the main cause of climate change, primarily due to fossil fuel burning, uh, deforestation, and industrial processes which produce heat-trapping gases into the atmosphere. What are the effects of greenhouse gases? Greenhouse gas molecules allow the sun's light and energy to pass through them when coming into the atmosphere. But when the sunlight is re-emitted back out towards space, infrared heat energy, the, the greenhouse gases trap some of this outgoing radiation, keeping our planet warm. Like mentioned before, since the Industrial Revolution, the amount of greenhouse gases emitted into the atmosphere have increased. Our temperature warms Warm is greater is increasing at a greater rate. Why do I believe that climate change is such an important and critical topic that we should all be educated on? Well, I grew up in a very environmental and agricultural setting where both me and my family depended on our natural resources to survive. For example, water conservation was very important to us. It provided sanitation systems for both me and my family and our cattle, as well as for watering crops. Because of climate change, I know that people who still depend on these resources will and are being affected by the changes in climate today. And they are the ones that, are, that have least contributed to this problem. How is climate change, change affecting us today? Well, scientists have found out that global temperature has rose about 1.98 degrees Fahrenheit or 1.98. 1.1 degrees Celsius, since the pre-industrial era began 250 years ago. Yet, climate change is much, much more than just an average increase in temperature. The amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has been, has rose by about 25% since 1998, 1958, and by 40% since the Industrial Revolution began. Scientists expect Scientists expect that if the concentration of greenhouse gases doubles compared to pre-industrial levels, the Earth could warm up to about 5.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Ecosystems and communities around the world are being impacted by climate change today. Things that we value like water, energy, transportation, agriculture, and human life are all being affected by climate change. As global temperatures climb, Droughts, fires, hurricanes, and floods become more severe and unpredictable. Sea levels rise, glaciers shrink and melt, air quality worsens, while water, food, resources, and human health will and are being affected today. Some of the effects that climate change is having on the Earth at this moment and will have later on are longer lasting droughts. Hotter temperatures increase the rate in which water evaporates from the air leading to more severe droughts. These changes shrink drinking water supplies, with withering crops, and making forests more, more vulnerable to insect infestations, which leads to my next point, intense wildfires. The drier, hotter climate also creates conditions that fuel more vicious wildfires, making these fires spread faster and burn longer. The number of wildfires doubled between 1984 and 2016 in the western U.S. And in California, the annual, burned, the annual area burned by wildfires increased by 500% since 1972 and 2018 alone. Some other changes that we will and are experiencing today are stronger storms and hurricanes. Warmer air also holds more moisture, making tropical cyclones 
wetter, stronger, and more capable of rapidly intensifying. Scientists found that daily rainfall during the extreme precip precipitation events would increase and could increase by 7% for each degree Celsius of global warming, increasing the dangers of flooding. The frequency of severe Category 4 and 5 hurricanes is expected to increase as well. Climate change also, also has an effect on the melting of sea ice. The Arctic is, being, is heating up twice as fast as anywhere else on Earth, leading to the rapid melting of glaciers and polar sheets. When, when massive, where massive amounts of water are stored, as ice melts, darker ocean waters that absorb more sunlight become exposed, creating, increasing the rise of sea level. It is predicted that in just 15 years, the Arctic could be entirely ice-free in the summer. Melting of sea ice also creates flooding. Scientists predict that climate change could cause the sea levels to rise as much as 3.61 feet by the end of the century, devastating low-lying reg regions and densely populated coastal cities like New York and Mumbai. Sea, levels, sea level rise could potentially harm the environment, destroying coastal systems and invading freshwater inland aquifers, which we rely on for agriculture and fresh drinking water. Additionally, sea levels cause coastal flooding. Our nation's food plains are expected to grow by approximately 45% by 2100. In 2000, deadly flooding in Pakistan, which flooded about one third of the country, resulted from severe rain mixed with, with melting glaciers and snow. These are some of the effects that climate change is going, like it's resulting in. Warmer ocean waters and ecosystem stressors. Oceans absorb 93% of all heat that is trapped by greenhouse gases and up to 30% of our carbon dioxide emitted from burning fossil fuels. Marine life is already changing migration patterns towards cooler and deeper waters to survive, sending food webs and commercial fishers, fishers into a disarray. The elevated absorption of carbon dioxide by the ocean leads to its gradual acidification, which alters the fundamental chemical makeup of the water and threatens marine life that it has already evolved that has already evolved to live in a narrow pH band. Land-based ecosystems are also being heavily impacted by climate change. And it's likely to increase the outbreaks of pests, invasive species, and pathogen infections in forests. These changes can disrupt wildlife while many ecosystems have the capacity, while many ecosystems have the capacity to adapt, many are reaching the hard limits of natural capacity. The disruption of food webs and ecosystems could potentially lead to food shortages for humans and animals. What are some of the human health and economic impacts that climate change has? Climate change worsens the air quality that harms our health. Diseases like malaria, Zika become more common in a warming world as their carriers are able to exist in, a more, in more regions and thrive for longer seasons. In 2022 alone, thousands died in record-shattering heat waves across Europe. The melting, the melting of ice and glaciers also exposes unrecogni unrecognizable diseases which, are frozen, which have been frozen for millions of years, diseases that we do not know of, we have not studied and do not have any cure for. It is predicted that unless action is taken, climate change will cause the U.S. economy as much as $500 billion per year by the end of the century. The entire local industries, from commercial fishing to tourism, are at risk, of, at, at risk of collapsing. Recovering from natural disasters caused by climate change could also cost the U.S. about $145 billion a year. Why should we take action on climate change? Every fraction of a degree of warming that we prevent would reduce human suffering and death while keeping the planet's natural systems intact. Teaching about climate change can be a challenge for many, but it is critical that we teach young people and generations, new generations, because it is something that will affect everybody. Climate change isn't fair and it affects local communities and vulnerable ones, undeveloped countries 
and those who have contributed least to the problem. For example, people who live in poverty or are in areas that are prone to natural disasters are more likely to be affected by the, worse, by the worsened effects of climate. These undeveloped countries do not have the resources that we, that we have to prevent climate change. By taking action, we can reduce the impact of climate change while creating, more sustain while creating a more sustainable future. As a society, I believe that we have the power to influence those around us. And the longer we wait, the more difficult it will be to address the problem. How can we take action on climate change? Like I said before, climate change is something very hard and complex to understand. We can take action by reducing our greenhouse gas emissions, supporting renewable energy, and promoting sustainable practices. Some other examples include reducing your energy consumption, using public transportation, or walking to nearby places instead of using your car. Others include reducing waste and supporting policies that promote sustainability. You can also get involved in local organizations that are working to address climate change and advocate in, for in your community. Every action, no matter how small it can be, creates a big difference. Like I said before, as a society, I believe that we have the power to influence those around us. As a young generation, young people have the most power out of everybody. Around us, we can influence by using social media and other technology outlets. It is selfish of us to say, why should I make a change as an individual when nobody around me is doing so? But it is not about being a follower. It's about being a leader. It's about influencing those around us for what we believe is fair and is right. We cannot say, oh, well, someone else would do it because then the next person might think the same. And it's just a never ending cycle. We have the power to influence those around us and we must be the change we want to see. The greatest threat to our planet is the belief that someone else will save it. Robert Swan. Thank you. <laughs>